Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? This is Jackie. I want to thank you for stopping by, visiting me on my channel. Going to very quickly, I want to make the Harvey Mac and Cheese. I don't know if you guys have watched that uh, video on YouTube, but it looks so delicious and I just cannot get it out of my mind. So I went grocery shopping today and I picked up the items uh, that goes in the macaroni and cheese. And the reason I want to try the Harvey macaroni and cheese is because it looks so creamy, it looks so delicious, and it has uh, an item in the macaroni and cheese that I've never put in my macaroni and cheese. And I, oh my God, I could just taste it in my mouth right now. And I just want to try it. I want to try it. Now, I know how to make macaroni and cheese. I make it all the time. I've made it several different ways. But I just want to try this recipe. So, I want you guys to check it out with me. So, I just wanted to try this recipe and see how it tastes. Okay, so I still got my groceries in the car. So, let's go in the house and get started on this macaroni and cheese. I have five ounces of Kobe Jack cheese. Well, actually this is the eight ounce block that they sell in the store, but I've only used five ounces. So I'm just gonna cut that up um, into cubes like it is on the video. And I'm just going to continue to cut that up until I get all the pieces um, cut up and the squares don't have to be even because you're just going to melt it anyway so it really doesn't matter what size they are so I put that five ounces in a cup because I thought eight ounces would be too much so next I'm going to cut the mozzarella cheese the same way this is an eight ounce block but I'm only going to use five ounces because again I thought the eight ounces would be too much so I'm just cutting that up on my cutting board and again the pieces do not have to be even because you're just going to melt them in a pan so I put that uh, mozzarella cheese in a bowl and next I have mild cheddar cheese I cut that up and I'm going to use five ounces I have about eight ounces of cream cheese right here that I'm going to use Next, I have five ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Yes, this recipe does call for a lot of cheese. Now, I did melt the cheese uh, in a pan, and it took quite a while, so I did cheat, and I put the um, cheese in the microwave, took it out, stirred it up, put it back in the microwave. Another thing you could do is you could put all the cheese in the crock pot and just walk away if you have something else to do and you could just uh, let that melt like that because you know crock pots do not burn so I just added some half and half and all together I think I used about 8 ounces of half and half to get that um, sauce nice and creamy because you know cheese is pretty thick. And I wanted to say if my voice sounds a little raspy or uh, congested, I do have a cold. I apologize for that. Um, this is the macaroni that I um, cooked. It's about 16 ounces. And I'm just going to add that in the pan. <clears throat> and I'm just going to mix that very, very well. Now at this point you can add, if you want to, you can add your seasonings, your eggs, seasonings, uh, bacon or bacon bits, you know, the normal way that you make your macaroni and cheese. Normally I make mine with milk, uh, canned milk, flour, butter, black pepper, you know, and I just mix it together like that. But right now I'm just trying um, Carly's recipe because it looks delicious, it looks creamy and the ingredients are very few and it's very simple and I buttered my pan this is a 11 by 9 uh, baking dish and I'm just pouring that mixture in there doesn't it look delicious creamy and this recipe this is the easiest recipe for macaron and cheese I've ever made okay so I'm just going to spread that out in the pan 
and I have some mozzarella cheese I'm just going to sprinkle that on top and I have some sharp cheddar cheese I'm just going to sprinkle that on top now normally I sprinkle uh, crushed saltine crackers on top of my macaroni and cheese but I didn't this time because I'm trying uh, again Carly's recipe the Harvey family mac and cheese recipe um, if you guys have not watched that video please watch that video um, I'm just going to put some tabs of butter on top because that's what uh, the recipe calls for and I put that in the oven at this point I stopped the music so you guys could hear the sizzle sizzle of the melted cheese it's just something about melted cheese that's just so delicious I took it out the oven so it's ready still a taste test because I'm hungry I haven't eaten all day this looks so delicious this is just the way I like my top crust to look good 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 okay I'm gonna have to get me a big piece because I am starving I have not eaten all day long oh and it looks so delicious I'm gonna get a big hunk mmm 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 Ooh wee oh my god that looks so good look at that you guys oh my god doesn't that look delicious look at that yum 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 oh my god it looks so good just look at the color it's a beautiful beautiful buttery golden beautiful color I just love it. I just can't wait to bite into it oh my god so here it goes I am so hungry too I have not eaten all day long and I've been thinking about this uh, oh my god look at that it's nice and creamy not dry oh my god so here it goes uh, Oh now. Mmm. 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 Woo! Mmm. That's the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. Mmm. 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 This is the best. This is the best macaroni cheeks I have ever had. It's really, really good. Delicious, rich, creamy. It has flavor in it. Usually I put uh, seasonings and I put um, black pepper, bacon, you know, all kind of stuff, but this doesn't even need it. I mean, it's very, very flavorful. Mmm, mm-mm, mmm. Mm. Y'all gotta excuse me. Kylie, you got down. It was delicious. <laughs>